That was a clean intro. Great job, video clean intro people. Okay, get out of here, mister. If you get a chance, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Players. Okay, put in a rectangle. That means you're serious. Okay, so we got a question from Hannah underscore Sutton 18. Um, how do you set up a 30, 60, 90 triangle? Well, no problem. Okay, so you got a 30, 60, 90 triangle right here. Okay, you know that 90, that's important. Uh, 30 will be your little angle, and then 60 is right here. Okay, I didn't mean to make it like that because that insinuates that those are equal, which they are not. Not, not equal. That's what's up. Okay, so here is your template, or template, if you wish, to syllabize um, for solving a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Okay, 30, that's your base, okay? Remember, angles are always directly related to the side opposite them. So therefore, let's say this is X in length. It could be 2, it could be 10, it could be 50. I don't know, who cares? So, that's your X. Now, um, your 60 side is directly correlated with the side opposite, it which would be um, x radical 3, okay? And then your hypotenuse, which is obviously your 90, is going to be 2x. Now, those x's, no matter what 30, 60, 90 triangle you have, those x's will be the same number within that triangle, okay? So, for instance, let's say you have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Let's say uh, this is, well, I need to make it look like that so that it looks similar before we get crazy. Let's say this is your 30 right here. This is your 60 right here. Um, Let's we'll say this is 4, okay? Now, if the 30 side is 4, we need to look at our template triangle, okay? Now, here's what I like to do. Let me finish the template, and then I'll show you how to do this. Um, you've got... Actually, it's not. Let's do it the way I was doing it. Don't second guess me, Tyler. I am Tyler, so that's that's a joke there, but you can't see my face. Whatevs. Okay, so um, we want to go, say we want to figure out what these other two are. Like I said, this is your base. From here, it's very easy to find out what the other ones are. So we would go from here to here. All we do is like we did here. What do you do to go from X to S rad X radical 3? Well, you multiply times radical 3. So you multiply it by radical 3, okay? Now, that's easy. So what we do is we do 4 times radical 3, which is 4 radical 3. That's the length of that side. Now, we do the same thing over here. What do you do to go from x to 2x? Well, you multiply it times 2. So we multiply this little fella times 2, and that's going to give us 8. And that's our answer, okay? Now, that's the easy version. The easy ones are whenever you have the base at 30, because you're really just... Multiplying times radical 3, multiplying times 8. Now, the tricky ones are when you go to the other little fellas, okay? So, let me, I don't like that. It's kind of messy. I'm going to fix it, okay? So, I'm going to redraw my triangle. We got a 30, 60, 90. 30, 60, 90. This is your x. This is your um, x radical 3. And this is your 2x, okay? This is what I always do. Okay, going from x to 2x. You're going to multiply times 2. Now, here's the tricky one. To go from 2x to x, what do you do? Well, you're going from 2 times something to just it. You divide by 2. Okay? Now, let's do this side. You're going from x to x radical 3. You multiply times rad or radical 3. You go on the other way. What do you do to get rid of that radical 3? You divide by radical 3. All right? Now, you don't want to go, you don't want to jump this bandwagon right here. Like, go straight there to there. If you need to, you got to bounce it down here and then bounce it up here or vice versa. So, let's do one of those, which are the most complicated of them, and then you can be done with listening to me talk. Okay? And then you just go ahead and subscribe and then check me out on, you know, social media. Because that's the way the world works now, people. Wait until Walking Dead comes along, and then we don't need no Twitter. You're going to do no math except for, you know, Pythagorean theorem when you're building houses and stuff. Okay, whatever. So, let's say we've got, um, let's say we've got, let's, let's say the hardest one would be, let's say this is, <clears throat> I don't know, 10. Okay? Now, this is where it's crazy. This 10 is our 60 side. Okay? Which means it's our radical 3 side. So, we're going from there and we want to go to X. So, what do we do if we go over there to the X? Look at our little template. We divide by radical 3. So you would do 10 
divided by radical 3. Now here's the problem. This is why this is one of the more complicated ones. You cannot have a radical on the bottom of division signs. It's rude. Nobody likes it. So what you do is you got to multiply it times 1, but not just any 1. Radical 3 times radical 3. What's radical 3 divided by radical 3? It's 1. I think I said that wrong a second ago. Don't worry about it. Radical 3 divided by radical 3 is 1. So anytime you multiply sign times 1, you're not changing the problem. You're just changing what it looks like. So we multiply that. Multiply across the top. Multiply across the top. That's going to be 10 radical 3. And that's going to be radical 3 times radical 3, which is radical 9. Which, the reason we do that is, what's the square root of 9? 3. Can I simplify it? No. So this would be the, the measure of my 30 side. Okay. And then what do we do to go from x up here? We just multiply it times 2. So we do 10 radical 3 over 3 times 2, which would be 20 radical 3 over 3. And you're done. You found all three sides of your triangle, and this looks like a face. I didn't mean to do that. Hey, what's up, player? Hey, if you get a chance, go ahead and subscribe to Tyler's thing. And then if you could, check him out on Twitter. It'd be real cool of you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Outro. Hey, thanks for showing up. Give me a subscribe and check out TarverAcademy.com. Pizza? Like I said, if you get a chance, check out TarverAcademy.com, Facebook, Twitter, my other YouTube, and this one, subscribe! <laughs> okay, that's, that's dumb.